That's really the worst part of everything. I'm like, I love my job at the bookstore. I can talk about books and be around books all day, but there's just these pesky people that come in wanting to buy stuff all the time. What's that about? Geeks, happy Saturday. I mentioned it on here before, but I myself do work at a bookstore, and I have worked at a couple of bookstores in my time. You get to be around some of your favorite things all day, you get to interact with publishers, you get to talk to people about books, and you get paid for it. It's just, it's a great job all around. And because I have a bit of seniority in my position now at my current bookstore, um, I've been involved in the hiring process. I have also had a lot of people ask, can I work at the bookstore? Like, how do you get a job at the bookstore? So today I'm going to tell you a couple of tips uh, for when you go into a bookstore and you want to hand in your resume and you want to work there. I guess I could say these tips also include, like, dress well, bring a resume, don't be late. And those are kind of like general, just general job interview tips. But I would say that there are a couple of specific things that are bookstore related and it also depends if you're going to like a big chain bookstore that I work at or if you're going to like an independent small bookstore so I might have to differentiate but I feel like these are all kind of in, you know a general bubble. The first thing I'm gonna say might not be that helpful but don't be nervous. If you are applying for a job at a bookstore you're gonna be working around other people who also love books so you already have something in common. Don't be too scared to talk to them about it. Second thing is that while you're in a bookstore and there's gonna be people to talk to about books about, don't over talk about books. Make sure to not just like, be book related because they want to know that you have a life outside of this and you know you've learned teamwork skills and you've learned how to problem solve and it's not just about how many books in the store that you've read. You also don't have to impress anybody being like, I've read Harry Potter 26 times and I also read Freud and all the Elon Musk books that come out. Like, get over yourself first of all. If you do read everything and everything, let them know. If you only read fantasy, if you only read fiction, like let them know because that means that you are diverse and you probably can handle multiple customers and multiple situations at once. I think the biggest thing is like if you want to work at a bookstore, talk about books. But if you want to work at a bookstore, you can't be someone that doesn't like reading. We've had people come into these interviews before and I'm like, oh like, you know, tell me your favorite book. I'm like, I don't read. Well, then get out! If you want to work at a bookstore, you gotta read something. It doesn't matter what you read or how often you read, but you have to read something because that's like going into a furniture store where there are no chairs. That's just dumb. I know a lot of introverts like myself want to work at bookstores because you think it's gonna be quiet and you can just be around books all day, which definitely is true, but you also have to talk to people because this is a retail job. Know that you're gonna be asked in the interview how you would deal with certain customers and be prepared. Just be like, you know, they're gonna ask, oh, if some old lady comes up and doesn't know the title of a book that she saw in the newspaper three weeks ago that has a blue cover, what are you gonna do? So you have to have that customer service persona ready for when they ask you those kinds of questions. There's also a group, one of the exercises that we often do is everyone says something that they like and then the person next to them has to go and pick out something from the store that they think would be a good match for this person, be it a book or an object or what have you. And so listening is very important because there are customers that are like, I want a business book. And you're like, cool, here's this awesome sci-fi book that came out. That doesn't make any sense, I'm not gonna hire you. Also, quick thing, if you are submitting a cover letter and resume, make sure that if you've done anything book related, if you've interned at the library, if you have a book blog, if you have a booktube channel, make sure to mention that because they want to know, I mean, A, first of all, like your extracurriculars and how that makes you a well-rounded person, all that jazz. That's on every resume <laughs> website out there. But they also want to know, like, how are you, you know, also in book world? How, why are you there? How are you there? If you have extra experience, they're definitely going to want to hire you more. I know I certainly do. I'm like, oh, she's worked at the library. She automatically knows how to shelve things. She's hired. I hope this video maybe helped you out or made you a little bit less nervous to apply. I know summer jobs are coming up soon, so if you want to work at a bookstore, got some tips for you. Join us at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time here on Sunday for our live chat. In the entire month of April, we are going to be doing write-ins, so I hope to see you guys all there.